Hi, my name is Ira. I'm an eighth grader, and today I'm going to be talking about the MIP test and how you can prepare for it. So what is the MIP test? The MIP test is a computer-sized assessment that measures students' academic growth in subjects like math and reading. It adapts to each student's ability level and helps teacher track progress and identify areas for improvement. Today we're going to go over the reading and the math part of the MAP test. There are six questions in each part. Let's start with the reading. There's going to be two main idea questions, two character analysis questions, and three context clue questions. Question number one, the main idea question. Throughout history, humans have built cities for various reasons. Some were established for trade, others as centers for government, and some simply as a place to gather and share ideas. Each city has its own unique structure and purpose, shaped by the needs of its people. What is the main idea of this passage? A. Cities have always been used for the same purposes. B. Cities are designed based on the needs of their people. C. Trade is the primary reason humans build cities. D. Government decides where the cities should be built. Take a minute to pause the video and figure out which option you think is correct. The answer is B. Cities are designed based on the needs of their people. You can rewind the video to go back and read the passage again and see if everything matches up. Question number two. Context clues. The explorer was exhilarated after discovering the hidden cave, feeling a rush of excitement and joy. What does exhilarated mean? A. Bored. B. Tired. C. Excited. And D. Confused. Take a minute to pause the video and figure out which answer you think is correct. If you said C, you're correct. Exhilarated is another word for excited. The explorer was excited after discovering the hidden cave feeling a rush and of excitement and joy. Char character analysis. In a story, a character named Julia refuses to follow the crowd, even when everyone else is doing the same thing. She believes in standing up for what she thinks is right, even if it's difficult. Which of the following best describes Julia? A. Cautious. B. Independent. C. Indifferent. Or D. Overconfident. Take a minute to pause the video to see which answer you think is correct. If you said B. Independent, you're correct. Question number four. Main idea. The world's oceans are vast and full of mysteries. Scientists believe that less than 5% of the oceans have been explored, meaning we know very little about what lies beneath the surface. Many new species of marine life are being discovered every year, and it's likely that the ocean holds even more secrets from underwater volcanoes to hidden ecosystems that could offer clues to the history of life and Earth. What is the main idea of this passage? A. The ocean is full of unknown species. B. Scientists are exploring underwater volcanoes. C. The ocean holds many mysteries that have yet to be uncovered. D. Marine life is being discovered every year. Take a minute to pause the video and see which answer you think is correct. If you said C. The ocean holds many mysteries that have yet to be uncovered, you are correct. That is the main idea of this passage. 5. Character Analysis Raleigh had always been the quiet one in the group, preferring to sit back and observe rather than be the center of attention. One day, however, when her friends were struggling with a challenging math problem, Riley stepped forward without hesitation. With a calm and confident tone, she explained the solution, impressing everyone. It was then that her friends realized how much they underestimated her. Which of the following best describes Riley character in the passage? A. Riley is shy and lacks confidence. B. Riley is a natural leader who always seeks attention. C. Riley is quiet but capable and thoughtful. D. Riley is unsure of her abilities and avoids helping others. 
take a minute to pause the video and see which question you think is correct. If you said C, Riley is quiet but capable and thoughtful, you are correct. And our final question for the reading part, question number six, context clues. The forest was eerily silent. The usual sounds of rusting leaves and chirping birds completely absent. A thick fog rolled in, making it difficult to see even a few feet ahead. The atmosphere was heavy, almost oppressive as if the air very as if the very air was thick with some unspoken tension. Based on the context, what does the word oppressive most likely mean? A. Light and uplifting. B. Heavy and overwhelming. C. Quiet and peaceful. D. Bright and clear. Take a minute to pause and find out which answer you think is correct. If you said B, heavy and overwhelming, you are correct. Now we are officially done with the reading part of the MAP test. Now let's move on to the math part. There are two algebraic expressions, two proportion questions, and two geometry questions. Question number one, algebraic expressions. Solve for x, 3x plus 5 equals 20. A, 5, B, 4, C, 3, D, 6. Take a minute to pause the video and see which answer you think is correct. If you said A, 5, you are correct. To solve the equation, you need to isolate x. Start by subtracting 5 from both sides. 3x plus 5 minus 5 equals 20 minus 5. 3x equals 15. Now divide both sides by 3. 3x divided by 3 is equal to 15 divided by 3. x is equal to 5. Now for our second question about proportions. Question. If 3 over x is equal to 9 over 12, what is the value of x? A, 4, B, 6, C, 3, or D, 2. Take a minute to pause and see what you think is correct. If you said A, 4, you are correct. To solve this proportion, cross multiply. 3 times 12 is equal to 9 times 6. 36 is equal to 9 times x. Now divide both sides by 9. 36 divided by 9 is equal to x, and x is equal to 4. Now for our third question about geometry. Question, what is the area of a triangle with a base of 8 centimeters and a height of 5 centimeters? A, 40, B, 20, C, 16, and D, 10. Take a minute to pause and see which question you think is correct. If you said B, 20, you are correct. The formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one half times base times height. Substitute the given values. Area is equal to one half times eight times five is equal to 20. The area of the triangle is 20. Now for our fourth question about proportions. A recipe calls for three cups of flour to make six muffins. How many cups of flour would be needed to make 15 muffins? A, five cups, B, 7.5 cups, C, seven cups, or D, 12 cups. Take a minute to pause the video to find out what your answer is. If you said B, 7.5 cups, you are correct. To set up your equation, you would do three cups over six muffins is equal to x cups over 15 muffins. Now we have to solve for x. And we're going to cross multiply. Three times 15 is equal to six times x. Which gives us 45 is equal to six x. Now we divide by six. 45 divided by six is equal to 7.5. x is equal to 7.5. Now for our fifth question about geometry. If the radius of a circle is seven centimeters, what is the area of the circle? A, 49 centimeters squared. B, 
153.86 centimeters squared. C. 38.48 centimeters squared. D. 14 centimeters squared. Take a minute to pause the video and find out what your answer is. If you said B, then you are correct. The area of a circle is calculated using the formula A is equal to pi times the radius squared. So B is the correct, the correct answer. Now for a sixth question, algebraic expressions. Simplify the expression. 3 times x plus 4 minus 2 times x minus 5. Take a minute to simplify the expression. If you got x plus 22, you are correct. Now let's take this down step by step. First, distribute the numbers outside the parentheses. 3x plus 4 is 3x plus 12. Negative 2x minus 5 is negative 2x plus 10. Then we combine like terms, 3x minus 2x, which is x. Then we combine more like terms, 12 plus 10, which is 22. So our final equation is x plus 22. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I made sure to use super similar questions that are going to appear on the MAP test for 8th grade. Just take your time and make sure you're relaxed. And there's so many ways to study. You could search up practice questions online. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your MAP test.